All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm checking out this one. I've never tried a Victory Amp before, so I'm excited. It's the Victory VX100, the Super Kraken. So this started its life by spending three days in my log shed. So cheers to UPS for that. <laughs> Didn't notice it, and I'm glad that I did because, you know, it's been it's very Yorkshire weather at my house recently. It's been absolutely freezing. It's been raining all the time. I'm glad that this thing wasn't damaged, but luckily it was in a good place in my log shed where it didn't leak. But anyway, Victory VX100, the Super Kraken, which, is, which was de designed in collaboration with Rabia Massad. If you're not familiar with Rabia's playing, then I wholeheartedly recommend that you check him out because he's sick. And he says, or so I've heard anyway, that it's kind of an amalgamation between a 5150 and a JCM 900, which are honestly two of my least favorite amps to play through just because it always, 5150 sounds great to me. It just, I just never liked how they felt when I was playing through it. It always felt really slow. And then the JCM 900 had this really harsh thing going on and you know there's some guitar players that have made them sound amazing but they're just not for me so but i'm quite excited to try the the super kraken because i think rabia's tone is always on point and it sounds great so if you guys want to know the specs obviously it's pretty simple control layout bass middle treble with two gains and two master volumes for two different channels channel one is clean or crunch and there's a switch for that and then channel two is obviously all out filth there's a preamp focus switch, which basically adds a TS style boost to the front. It's an effects loop on and off switch on the front as well. On the back, there's a bunch of speaker outputs. There's relay control outputs on the back, so you basically can change channels and some of the other features on the amp, as well as MIDI, which is great. And it's actually the reason that I went for this one over the 50 watt version, because I think the MIDI will be very, very useful in the future. So my signal chain, mine is the Vell with a mahogany body, funny enough, um, with the Seymour Duncan P90 rails in it, into the Super Kraken, through the Ampi switcher, going through to this thing over here, which is a Coffee Custom Cabs 2x12 Latte with a V30 and a cream back in it, and it's currently mic'd up on the V30 with a Bayer Dynamic M260 from the late 60s, or early 70s, we don't really know because their serial number system meant that they didn't keep dates. So let's start with the clean channel. <laughs>
really glorious channel, especially with the game Dimed. Because it sounds very, very similar vein to how my Hughes and Kenner Pure Tone is. It feels like you're playing in distortion when it's just clean that's slightly breaking up. And it feels really awesome to play through. It's really responsive. <laughs> Dimed. <laughs> sounding channel holy god i'm gonna turn the preamp focus on now because i want to see how far we can go with the ts in front of it <laughs> Sounds absolutely wonderful, even with the controls like that. Let's go back to noon and try channel two. Yeah, let's flip that off. That's what's nice and clean. So let's do the gain at halfway. Let's do all controls at half. <laughs> Thank you. 
it has that it's almost like he's got a transient designer on it because every single hit it has this humongous transient to every single hit and i don't know if that's going to translate through the microphone but it sounds wonderful it's just like got this attack to it that is just so mechanical and so sick like i would never say that this is a cross between a 50 150 and a jcm 900 because i actually like this it sounds glorious. It's so tight sounding and really, really good. In fact, there's a feature that I forgot to mention on the back. There is actually a, a power amp um, reaction button. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it changes from tight to loose. And I don't know which one it's on right now. I think it's probably on loose and I'll play around with that in a minute. Um, let's try it with the preamp focus. <laughs> I want to try it with my pedal in front because that preamp focus button kind of brings it into that 5150 sound. It's got that mid range of the 5150 that is actually probably the reason I don't like it. I like the focus of the mid range to be slightly higher in its frequency, which is done by an OCD style pedal, which is obviously on the Heat Line 6 Helix. It's the compulsive drive or my signature pandemonium, which is right here by Reaper Pedals. I'm also going to put the noise gate on. As you know, you have to see just how tight it is. <laughs> Remember how to play that already. It's been so long. Thing, wasn't it well it sounds glorious let's try that switch on the back to do the power amp there yeah it was in loose setting so now the buttons pressed in let's see what the tight bass response does i'm pretty certain that i'm going to prefer it on the looser bass response because i kind of always do 
I like to have it there and then tighten it up afterwards. Here we go. <laughs> I think I prefer it with it off, actually. But I think in a band situation, with the bass guitar, kick drum, all that other stuff, that that bottom end would eat into. I think in a band situation, it would actually work better with that setting turned on. Let's have another listen. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically just a low cut, which is cool. Um, it refines it, but I just like that cab fart that I get from not having it on. Victory and Rabia, you did a cracking job, cracking little amp. Well, I say little, it's 100 watt, but it's smaller than your average 100 watt. It sounds glorious. It's like a really tight sounding amp. And it doesn't sound notoriously British, even though it's made in Britain. It's kind of like an amalgamation of both the USA and the UK, directly in the middle. It sounds wonderful. It's super, super tight. It's saturated if you want it to be. It's got a good clean channel. The clean channel was awesome as well. It's got an effects loop. It's got the preamp focus, so you don't have to take any pedals if you don't want to. And it's all MIDI controllable. It's pretty sick. Special thanks to Victory for sending this over. And that's what I got for this video. And if you are interested in Victory Amps, we're actually giving away the Kraken VX and the Kraken pedal next month or this month, depending on when this video comes out, on Riff Hard. And that is January 2021. So if you want to have the chance to win the little brother of this awesome amp or the pedal, for first and second place, then go over to riffar.com and join the revolution. If you want to get your rhythm chops up, then I wholeheartedly recommend you go over there and we have sick, insane prizes every single month just for writing a couple of riffs. So anyway, thanks for checking it out. Let me know what you think of the tone in the comments. And yeah, I'll be back soon. Sorry it's been so long, but I'll see you next time. Peace.